My name is Jakob Bro. I play guitar and um, I live in Copenhagen, Denmark. For me, yeah, Paul Motion was like a mentor. Uh, maybe not even like her, but he was my mentor. I was uh, very young when he asked me to go on tour with him. It was uh, literally a dream come true. Being on the road, playing concerts with your biggest hero, uh, obviously you you learn a lot. So, um, and I still feel like that I'm going to be learning from him from uh, for the rest of my life, basically. Yeah. He was a great band leader, a uh, great composer. He was an incredible drummer, and he managed to put all of these things together. I had long been thinking and dreaming about playing music together with Joe. And uh, Joe and me had been in dialogue about a collaboration of some sort. And Paul Motion was a very natural uh, place to start. One of the beautiful things about this gathering that we were all somehow in love with Paul and his sound and we had all been the inspiration is, is, is coming from the same source, so, so to speak. Yeah, I, I guess me and Joe were writing emails to each other, talking about what music to do, and we were, in the beginning, we wanted to play a lot of Paul Motion pieces, but then we realized that we also, in the spirit of Paul, wanted to create a, a, a new set of songs. And the musicians that ended up being in the band were all yeah, like I said, people that had a, a connection to Paul one way or another. The, the bands I played with with Paul Motion was usually with either two or three guitar players. Of course, just one drummer, but, but sometimes two bass players also and two horn players. Like inviting, for instance, Thomas Morgan into the group was very natural. But for me also, like I was touring with Paul Motion with Anders Christensen playing the bass and it seemed like I couldn't really invite Thomas without inviting Anders also. And, and then Larry had a you know, long history. I mean, we, we could have kept going, obviously. <laughs> I also played with the uh, pole motion with Jerome Harris and Ben Street, but I, yeah, I think five bass players <laughs> would have been too much. <laughs> it felt like a family gathering in a way, which was also one of the beautiful things Paul uh, did in a way. He created a family. It's hard to put into words in a way what he meant to me and but the way he played drums, I, I was usually standing next to him. Just hearing him play, feeling the energy and uh, sound coming from him was so special. And um, it, it's something that goes deep inside of you when you play music with somebody that, that good. I mean, Paul is definitely going to be present in a way for, for all of us at, the, at this concert. I mean, we're all trying to find uh, our own ways and path in the music. And for sure, um, that was also what Paul encouraged everybody around him to do. I think this ensemble is, we are, I mean, the, the only time we played live at the Willis Vanguard last May, and uh, it was a very small setting, very um, intimate. It was really nice to, to feel like, almost like, you know, when you say the sky is the limit, uh, there were so many ways we could go within the music as a band, and I hope that this tour is going to be somehow a, a further development of that. Even though these halls are way bigger than the Village Vanguard, it's, we will aim to be intimate and close on stage and, and be true to what we, we hear, basically, and experiment and improvise and, and try to create something new.